Hey everybody, it's me, Brandy, with Be Vintage Fashion and Decor, and I know it's been a while since my last video, so I wanted to come on here and let you know I found a couple great things recently, and I wanted to show them to you. Some of them have been from, well, I have so much to go through with you guys. <laughs> Some of them have been things that um, people gave me, which is um, what's out here. And then I have a Goodwill um, auction. I haven't gotten any blue boxes in a while. Um, after some that, a few of them that were just, uh, I stopped getting them for a little bit and just haven't tried again. But I'm sure some of you have gotten some great ones. I just went through a rough patch there where I didn't get a lot of good ones. So I stuck to auctions and um, estate estate um, auctions online as well too. So today I was gifted from one of the ladies that, um, uh oh, uh oh, I lost one of them. I'll have to find this one. <laughs> um, from one of the ladies that I work with at my antique booth and I found it. And um, she gave me these earrings and I think she just, she's a very, loving a generous person and um I'm going to show them to you guys before I list them online because they would make absolutely gorgeous holiday gifts hopefully they would ship there in time for the holidays but I think it's early enough we're still okay so and then this one is one that um I believe I've had in a haul a long time ago and um, I, I brought it out because I don't know if I've ever shown it. So I'm gonna show you that one as well. So these four items are actually along the lines of like the fine, well, the, these ones actually are fine jewelry. Um, these two are set in sterling and then these two are actually set in 10 carat. So, and I have my gem tester out so I can show you um, what the actual gemstones are in them. So this first pair that I'm going to show you, um, and if for any of you that haven't watched me before, welcome. And if you have, welcome back. My name is Brandy and I um, am a reseller of jewelry and fun fashion things. And these earrings, um, everything that I have would ship for $5 if you're in the United States. If you're outside the United States, just um, email me and let me know and I can check into how much shipping costs would be because I'm going to tell you right now, wow, have they gone up. Um, my friends over there in Canada, um, what I used to be able to send them, you know, from like shipping wise, $15 has gone up way over $20 for shipping. It was like $25, I think the last time I sent something. So it, it, just let me know if you're outside the United States. I don't mind shipping to you but I would definitely have to check on the shipping price. So anything under a pound in the United States um, would be uh, $5. Anything over a pound, it would just be the cost of shipping. But these are gorgeous, ten, like I said, 10 karat white gold earrings, and even the backs are the 10 karat. And when I tested the stones, there are, there are diamonds, or a diamond, I believe, Oops, if I, what, off camera, I have no issues with this thing hitting metal. It's when I sit there and try and do it in front of you guys that I have an issue. So the annoying beeping, sorry, is when I hit the metal. There we go. There's the diamond line. And then these here are testing at, the big stones here in the center are testing at the, um, the aquamarine line. Tanzanite aquamarine. Um, but they're blue blue so i'm pretty sure they're aquamarine gorgeous earrings and whoops i'm trying to hold them so you can see how what size they are and hopefully you can see the detail if i can hold them still got uh slippery fingers today there we go do you see the detail in there really pretty earrings really really pretty okay so i will put the price on the screen for these and um, I will be giving a discount to um, my viewers on YouTube versus what I would sell them for on eBay. So just know that the discount that I put on the screen um, is, is a discounted price. So um, please know that I've marked them down because I was gifted them 
um, considerably cons um, from what I would put them on eBay. Man, I need more coffee or something. I can't even talk today. So look at these. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I wanted these. These are gorgeous. They're really, really pretty, but I don't, I don't need them. They're small. I like, I'm into bigger earrings right now. Of course, watch, I'll be into smaller earrings next year. Just how it goes, right? Um, oops. So there is, there is a small diamond, um, right? And I did test everything ahead of time just to make sure. There is a small diamond up here. And then this one is also testing at the, um, at the aquamarine tanzanite line. Oops, if I can get it on there. Come on. It keeps slipping. I had it up to that line. It, it goes in between the, come on. It's like right, there we go. Now I got on the right. It's like right on the, the edge of the, the aquamarine tanzanite line. And those are also 10 carat and the backs are also marked 10 carat. And let me let me see where it's at on the back because maybe I can even focus in. Um, it actually, these are 14 carat. The backs are 14 carat. The earring itself is marked 10 carat. And you're probably not gonna see I'm probably not going to get it to focus good enough, but it is marked like right on the back of the earring there. And then on the back, there we go. On the back of the uh, earring back, it's also marked. So the earring back is 14 carat on this one and 10 carat earring. Let me see if the, the back on this one is the same. It is. So the back is 14 carat. No. On this one, the back is 10 carat. So the earring is 10 carat. So they must have replaced, somebody must have replaced the back on that one, which still works. Still looks exactly the same with a 14 carat one. So, um, yeah, they're not exact the same back, but they're, they're very similar. So it wouldn't be a problem wearing them where you would look funny. And then these actually test as sapphire and diamond. However, they are set in sterling. They are marked on the back, 925. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go, if you can see it. And gorgeous earrings, really gorgeous earrings. And the backs are also sterling silver. They are marked, <clears throat> excuse me. Really pretty earrings. Okay, and once again, I'll put the price of those on the screen as well. And then this bracelet, um, now I hesitated selling it only because it, it, it kind of confuses me a little bit. They are diamonds. Um, they do test as diamonds there in the center. There you go, you can see. So they are diamonds. Um, however, and hopefully you can see it's and it's sterling silver and it's got um a vermeil like gold over lay on it however right here in the center of each one and i think it's deliberate it's like a rose gold kind of almost like it looks coppery but it's not coppery can you see that it's like a rose gold tone at, at the cent just on the center going this way on every single one just that top one so i I'm sure it's deliberate. It's a beautiful bracelet. Oh, and I forgot my, my measuring tools downstairs, but it's probably, I'm gonna guess, about seven, seven and a quarter. There we go, sorry. And I have been, I'm gonna just let you know, I've been doing work in my garage, painting things and sanding things and um, doing different projects. So my hands are a little beat up right now and it's freezing cold outside and I'm in my garage in freezing cold. And um, let me show you that one more time. So my hands are dry too. Dry and starting to get that winter, that winter frosty glow. Okay, let me move this aside because I don't think I'm going to need that going forward. And let me 
um, show you what I have. So I have, what I did was I actually went through because I've had so many bad bags recently, um, that I actually went through and pulled out anything that wasn't broken. And, um, I also pulled because there was a ton of earrings. So I actually pulled all the earrings out as well too. And some of the rings or, or I think, I think all, I, did I have all the rings in here? Mm, possibly. So I have an earring bin and, um, like for instance, there's a really pretty ring. Um, and the rings, I think I still have some of the rings in there pulled everything that was a single earring. Um, I actually have in separate, a separate bag. Uh, there was a lot of them actually there, there, there were so many that they were in two small Ziploc bags. But that way, um, we're not going through the junk, so to speak. If you're interested in single earrings for crafting, let me know. I have quite a bit of them now. So since we have this ring, we'll start off with this ring, and then I will empty the bag. So this is a very cute ring. It's a small one. It's a size mm, five and a half, it looks like. And it is marked on the inside. Now, I did not... Um, I did pull out some items and I will probably show them at the end of the video. Wow, that's really tiny. I can't even see what it says. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm trying. I don't believe it's any kind of like special metal mark or anything. I think it's just the marking on the, the ring but it's a pretty little ring. And I actually, I may, I may, if I have time during the video, I may um, show you the stuff that I pulled out that I'm gonna list online. I do actually wanna show it to you um, because some of it is pretty cool. So I pulled that kind of stuff out and this. Now, oh, I wanna show you this first because I am in love with this. I, if I had something in my wardrobe that would work with this and had a place to wear it, I would totally keep it because I think this is just awesome. Awesome, awesome. And it is not marked, which was surprising to me because it is a nice piece of jewelry. And I'm looking again under my light just to make sure, but I don't see, yeah, I don't see any marking, okay. So it's all twisted up, but it, it does lay flat. I promise you, I just have it twisted in there from the bag. There we go. There's one side. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, when I saw that, I was wishing I had somewhere to wear this. It is beautiful. It is enameled right here. Has rhinestones there in the center. Can you see all the rhinestones all around it? It's stunning. And look at look at the size of it too. Isn't that just beautiful? And the color, nothing is chipped. The color is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Love, love, love it. Um, oh, I was not thinking ahead. And let me grab myself a little bin here to put some stuff in as we go through it. There we go. Okay. Some of the stuff, now this, this has some wear to it and, you know, definitely needs to redone, but I wanted to show it because I know a lot of people like to, um, this one's just going to go into my scrap pile, but anything in my scrap pile I sell for a dollar a piece. Um, and so it, it'll be there if you're interested in it. I always set my scrap from the videos aside for at least a few days in case somebody's interested in it. But that could definitely be remade into something else. I'm not sure why there's a rogue earring in here. So I'm going to set that aside. This is another one. And this one I would just do for like a quarter. If you're interested in cameos, it's a great little scrap piece that could fit into um, a necklace nicely or a bracelet. And it's just a little plastic cameo that's also going into scrap. Here is another item, really, really pretty. It's just a little pendant, but I don't have a necklace 
for it. So it also is just going to go into scrap. It is, I think that's ceramic. Uh, it might be a transfer on there. It doesn't look hand painted, but it does have a number 18 on the back. But if this is not silver or anything, it's, it's, um, I mean, I could test it, but I don't, I don't believe it is silver. I think it's just silver toned. Another stretchy bracelet. This one, the stretch is a little questionable on. So I would say this one's also going to go into, yeah, I see how it's gapping into scrap, but look at, I mean, it's still, these are still in great condition. It just needs to be restrung. Another one that's great for beads going into scrap. And you know what? Oh, here's a ring and it needs to be cleaned. Let's see what the marking is. I did not look the markings on any of this stuff. Is it marked? Um, I this one may need to be tested. It has a little mark in there, but I can't see what it says. And it's pretty tarnishy. So I will test this ring and see if it's sterling. It is a size six. So I'll set that in my little test pile. Whoops. This is a beautiful bangle bracelet, mother of pearl, in and out, and on the sides, really, really pretty. Look at that, really pretty. It's got really nice, um, like beige hues to it. Very nice. Okay, this is definitely, it's all tangled. Definitely one of my favorites. Look how pretty, it, and it doesn't, it's not marked. Yeah, not marked at all. Very nice quality. And, um, oh wait, it is marked right there. Let's see what it says. MFC Bronze 18 Carat. Not sure what the bronze 18 karat means. MFC bronze 18 karat. Okay. Well, it has really pretty rhinestones. I highly doubt it's 18 karat gold. <laughs> um, it just, yeah, I mean, it just, it doesn't feel like it would be anything real, but it has really nice weight to it. So you can tell it's a very nice quality costume piece. It has the rhinestones in there and then the rhinestones down. Um, it's, oh, who was the maker of the one, um, the one piece that I had before that was like this and, um, why is it, I'm drawing a blank. I can see it in my head and I'm drawing a blank, but, uh, it's very reminiscent of that, that piece. Um, shoot, I don't want to test it, but I'll put the price in the screen. I will definitely do a little bit more investigating on it. Very pretty. These, I think they're, was there a pair, a pair of earrings that matched this? Uh, let me see if these match. They do. So if I have the other earring, I will sell it as a set. Let me just glance at the earrings here. I'm pretty sure I do because I would not have, I would not have stuck that one in here if I didn't have the other one. I don't think I would have. course because I'm looking for it it's not popping out um if I have oh there it is okay I was gonna say if I have it and then of course I find it there we go so yes we will sell this as a set it's not marked really pretty though um there's the colors on the stones they almost have like a, a moon glow to them and then these are white definitely more modern costume jewelry um look how pretty though it's almost like an AB crystal in there, but it's um, just a, a plastic rhinestone, but it's still, it's in great condition. Really, really pretty. Okay, so we'll sell that as the set together. 
Uh, this is just a silver toned bangle. I'm just gonna put this in with my other bangle bracelet. This is nice. This is marked Simple Addiction. So just a more modern day costume jewelry. In great condition though. Oh, do we have a loose one? No, we have a loose one. Can I, I know I can fix that easily, but do I want to? No, so I'm putting that in scrap. I'll let somebody else fix it. <laughs> These are also just gonna go in my little, um, well, I'll just put a price on these, but they're just modern plastic bangles. This is really pretty. I do wanna, there are a few pieces in here I do wanna test. I did not test anything. Let's scrape it and see. I don't believe this would be sterling or anything. Um, let me see if I can get a better scraping. It's not scraping like it's silver. And it, it does have a two-tone to it. Can you see that? A two-tone to it, but um, I'll do that bigger one. There we go. We'll leave it on there for a second. See if anything happens. No. If something did happen, it went right away. So, it's not a sterling. Not a sterling piece, but it is still a really nice bracelet. And it is on the larger size. So, if you have a small wrist, um, it'll kind of dangle on you. And then if you have a larger size wrist, um, it would fit nicely. A little bit more snug. Oh, this is pretty. This is also not marked. Nope. Really pretty colored. Everything's getting dirty already. Really pretty colored stones. Looks like everything's in place. And uh, you could probably even take these extra rings off if you wanted to, or even take off and make just a single. So very nice. Is there an uneven, no, there's an even amount, but there's an uneven amount. So I think, oh, you know what? It probably goes over here. That, that one probably goes over here like that. There we go. Now it looks better, but it's stuck right there and I'm not going to mess with it. So yeah, that needs to be moved over there so it looks more e symmetrical. Oops. It fell off the table. Here's another one that's, um, you know, the elastics. It's not bad. It's really not bad, but it could be restrung. So I'm just going to put that into craft and it does have like a biblical saying on it John 317 this is really pretty um, metal mesh gold tone magnetic so it has the center magnet there we go uh, bonus hair stuck in there <laughs> really pretty though huh very nice. Magnet still works great. Okay, look at this. Beautiful pink quartz druzy pendant. Really pretty. Look at the color on the back of that and then the front there. Isn't that really pretty? I do not have the chain for this. So... I'm going to scrape it too to see. I don't think it's anything, any special precious metal, but I'll put a little 10K on the scraping just to see what happens. And it is going away. Yeah. So it's just a costume piece, but it's still really pretty really pretty stone. This is fun. This would be really fun in 
for the summer. What, who is that marked? Hmm, heck if I know. Cannot tell what that says, and I'm not recognizing the mark. I'm sure some of you will recognize the mark or know what it says. But my eyes are not cooperating. I got my flu shot yesterday, and you know how sometimes when you get your flu shot, you feel kind of eh the next day? So, yeah, that's me today. Feeling a little, feeling a little drained, but I'm okay. There we go. So that's really pretty. I was looking to see because I have a, there's like a little loose um, strand here, but that's just where they tied it off. It just needs to be nipped. Everything is there. Really nice colors on that necklace. Um, this is just going to go into craft. Has some really cute beads though. There are whoops. There are a bunch of these. I'm just honestly going to throw those in to my craft lot. I'm not even going to sell these individually. There's quite a few of them in here, but they're just going to go into the craft lot. Here's a couple little rings. This one is a stretchy ring. Um, it doesn't stretch a whole lot, so it's probably better on like a size, I'm going to guess like size 8 or 9 finger. But it's cute. It's got these seed beads, um, and it's still in good shape, but it is a little stretched out. So if you wanted to restring it, that would be great. Matter of fact, um, yeah, you know, only because I, I don't know if I totally trust seed bead stuff. I would hate for somebody to get it and then it breaks. So I'm just going to put it in the craft lot. If you're interested in it, it'll be just a dollar. I'm sure it still has plenty of wear in it, but this is really pretty. Definitely needs a little cleaning. Um, peacock, she is missing a stone right there peacock ring and oops she's coming up a size pretty much a size eight on that peacock ring I do have also something to show you that um, I have from the box sale that I this is just gonna go into craft too that I held back and I held it back because um, it was something I really liked, but I figured if I have not worn it yet, I'm testing this to see if this is sterling. If I hadn't worn it yet, I was going to sell it, and I haven't worn it yet, so it's going to be up for sale for somebody else to enjoy. This is not sterling, so, well, let's leave it there a minute. It looked like it was disappearing, but then it doesn't, so... It is, but it, it it really feels like it is. It's kind of pliable like it is. Um, but it's just this little bracelet. So we'll see what it comes up. It does look like it's turning. First it looked like it was going away. Now it looks like it's turning. Here's another piece I should have tested. This is really pretty. Um, it has like this little beetle for its marking. And it. I'm pretty sure this is probably sterling. And it has this little shepherd's hook. It almost looks like it could be handmade. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's sterling. So it would clean up beautifully. And it's it's a bracelet. And it has like this little dangling crystal. And then there's the main stone. So the... Let's see if I can get the... The chain itself is what looks like it's sterling. And then there's beads. It looks like beads around that stone. Yes, that, this one, this one is changing. Like it is, like it is um, sterling. Let me put some on the other little mark I got from it. So, this one, if, uh, oh, you know what? Hello, Brandy. There's a marking on it. It didn't look like a marking when I had it at first. Uh, not that I can even tell what it says. It does say something, though. Um, because it just looked like, it just looked like schmutz on there. It didn't look like a marking. 
Um, and that one, yeah, they're both, they're both coming up sterling. That one is also changing a little bit. I don't know if you can see the little scraping that I was able to get from it. Now my fingers are filthy from the cleaning cloth, but I can show you guys what it says. It's got some kind of, it's got some kind of designer. Let's see if you can see it. Do you see that? Some kind of maker's mark. It certainly doesn't say sterling anywhere, but do you see how I thought that was just, especially how it had the black stuff all around it. I mean, look at my finger. Um, so I certainly, I just thought it was a little bit of schmutz. So let me clean it up a little bit more and I'll let you know. Oh, I should have done this ring while I was there. Um, what did I do? There it is. So yes, I will clean that and I will clean that up. And then, whoops, I was way too much acid on that one. And that's on that ring. So we'll let that sit there for a minute. That is definitely starting to light up. So the ring itself is also sterling. Here's another little fashion piece. Let's get this acid away from this before it decides to jump off and eat away at the costume jewelry. Okay. Let that dry. Now my hands are filthy. And I don't have a wipe nearby. Really pretty. All the stones are there in this. Very nice. That would be gorgeous for the holidays or even in the springtime or summer even with those colors. Very pretty. Here is just a, I don't even know if it's glass. I think it's just plastic acrylic pendant. And sorry now for the dirty fingers. Mm, let's see, what else do we have in here? There's a couple rings that are the same. I had that happen with the, um, with the ones that I pulled and set aside. So there's quite a few of these just fashion rings and they are adjustable. They're about a size seven right now and they are adjustable. So I have three of them if you're interested in them. And then this is also just a fashion ring. Is it marked? It is marked on the inside. Let me look at the marking and then I'll tell you the size. Um, oh, hold on, what does it say? It says something. Ferraro, I see that. So sorry. It's very, it's in a, I hate it when they put it in a very awkward spot. It's like they do that deliberately or something, right? Uh, stainless steel, stainless steel Ferraro. And it is a size eight. I'm going to look that up Ferraro because I have heard of that. Let's see what it comes up with. Oh, here we go. So this one is, is a current listing by somebody and they have it listed. They have it listed as stainless steel and turquoise ring. Let's see if the turquoise looks the same. I, I don't know if it's real turquoise or if it's halite. So, but this one is listed at $25. So 
Nice. Nice find. Size eight. This is really pretty. This is in great shape too. Very nice. These, this could even be the, the, the findings. No, the, well, the lobster isn't, but the findings might even be silver. Very pretty colors. Look at that. Great condition too. Here's another, another bracelet that I suppose it would help to get my magnet. Yep. Magnetic. So just costume bracelet. Just going to put that in with my other bangles. This is pretty. Um, also not marked. Look how pretty the color blue is on that though. That's really nice. Just a fun little bobble necklace. Kind of a J. Crew wannabe, but not uh, not marked. Oh, look at these earrings. I don't know why the earrings are in here, but those are really pretty. They have some really nice dark green stones in the center. They're probably sterling. The cages are probably sterling. Not sure about the hooks, but it isn't sticking. But if you are sensitive, uh, it did stick. So the the hoops the hooks are probably not sterling, but the cages around the stone probably are. They look like they are too. Really nice. Okay. Uh, here's another one that's just gonna go into the craft lot. Very Brighton esque. Really pretty. Still about oh nope, it's missing a stone right there. Craft. Uh, here's for all my Pandora type of jewelry lovers. This is a very nice charm bracelet. Um, not a actual Pandora that I know of. I don't see any markings on it. Really pretty beads on that one. The bracelet is not sticking. Now the, the little jump rings are, but the bracelet is not. Really nice. So it's just a cute little fashion necklace on some cordage. Um, this is really pretty. It's going to go into the craft lot, but it's like a um, the glitter stone. Very cute. Here's another one of those rings. I have four of them. Um, this is this is a bracelet that's. Um, Probably just gonna go into craft. It's, I think it would be better off as a necklace with this charm on it than a bracelet, but it, it's definitely a little overstretched. Also going into craft. This is a cute little kid's necklace. Um, it needs to be untangled from this necklace that it's tangled with. It's got um, some cute little Cute little charms, little sis, which could be taken off. And I, actually, I think these are two necklaces. They're tied together. This one's a s'mores. This one's a butterfly. And I would just do them together, actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, yay, I got them. They're untangled from there, but I would just sell them as a lot together. If not, they'll go into my kids' craft lot. Okay, this one, actually, I'm going to set this one aside. It looks like something my daughter would probably want to wear. So I'll set that aside for her. Here's a, um, almost feels like pleather, not like real leather choker, but it's in really good shape. The one side is black. This side is silver toned. Here's a really nice magnetic bracelet. Nice, um, Kind of velvet on the one side and then it has these stones and yeah there's no glitter it's just all stones on on the outside very nice here's another mother of pearl bracelet this one is all white white tones 
same style as the other one. Very pretty. Well, this is, this is just a butterfly pendant. Here's another piece I should test. And now that my stone is all wet still, let me scrape it. Yeah, I think this is sterling. And it's very, I, I'm actually surprised when I looked at this one, I was surprised it wasn't marked like Tiffany because it almost feels, it feels like the quality of the Tiffany heart. And it, 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 it's, it really looks like that really looks like that. It is, it is sterling. So I'm not sure I'm going to get rid of this one just yet. Hold on. Let me see if I can move over the, there's the test to show it, I mean, it really, really glowed. <laughs> um, I'm going to clean this up and see if I can see any markings on it, but I'm not seeing any offhand, but doesn't that look like a Tiffany piece? I mean, it, it really does. So but it would, it would be marked if it was. It definitely would be marked somewhere. But it's a little dirty, so I'm going to clean it and see if I can find a marking of some kind on it. It's not... It, it could be a ring. I thought it was a pendant. Maybe it is a ring. I don't know. It's it's comfortable like it could be a ring. Um, if it is a ring, which it probably is. I'm, I'm just assuming it's a pendant. But if it's a ring, it's almost a nine. So, yeah, maybe it is a ring. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you think it's a ring or if you think it's a pendant. Naturally, my brain went to pendant because of the, the kind of weight on it. But I guess it could be worn either way, really, right? Hmm. Nice. This is probably one of my favorite pieces out of this bag. Um, it is, oops, and I did it backwards. It's a really pretty bracelet. Look at the stones on the sides. And then the stone detail on the clasp. But isn't that really nice? And it is not marked anywhere, which is surprising. Because it feels like really, really nice quality. I mean, it's not super heavy or anything, but it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel cheapy. It still has a good weight to it. Okay, this oops, is also has an earring stuck in it. Look at this. Very... Oops, it's all twisted. It's twisted right now, but it untwists, I promise. I'm not gonna sit there and untwist it right now, but isn't that pretty? I actually have a pair of earrings in my booth that match these, so if you are interested in earrings that match it, but um, it's just a really pretty, fun, dangly necklace. Isn't this cute? I know one of you guys is going to love this too. Look at this fish. And I need to see if he's marked. Um, it is a, I think it's articulated tail, right? Would that be articulated? Or I always re can't remember which one is which. Reticulated or articulated? I think it's articulated. I don't see any markings on it. Um, and I don't believe it's, let me scrape it. No, it's, it's the costume. And actually now that I have it in the light a little bit, I can see it's slightly turning on the bottom there, but the top, I mean, it's still got that great gold tone and look at the tail on this thing. Isn't that fun? Look how cute that is. Let's see what size it is. It's an eight. And he's got, um, I mean, he might be missing, yeah, he's missing a stone right there under his one eye, but you can't even tell. How cute is that? I'm going to wear that for right now. This is a really pretty, you can tell it's vintage, blistered pearl, probably faux pearl though, just so you know. And it's got, it's like a charm. It's got the, the little eye hook there and, but it's really pretty. And it, I mean, you could flip it onto anything, a purse, keychain, a, a pendant, as a pendant. It's really pretty. 
on his hair. Um, if you like owls, this is just a little Claire's bracelet. It's got a little, got a little owl there, owl charm. And then these little faux, um, it's obviously dyed how like, cause there's one that's got the white showing through. It's a cute little bracelet. Not sure why that earring is in there. I'm definitely running long. So I'll probably do the earrings and that other stuff in another video. This is just a pretty fashion gold chain. Pretty long, probably at least 22 inches long, I'd say. And it's adjustable. You know what? I wonder if this goes on it. I guess it could. I don't know. I'm going to probably do them separately, though. But look at this. This is definitely plastic, but definitely a statement piece. And actually, you know what's kind of cool? This would actually make a Christmas a good Christmas ornament. I don't know why. I think it's just because I decorated my tree recently. But um, to me, I mean, it's really big. So it would be definitely a very big statement piece. But I think it would be a cool Christmas ornament. Okay. Just a few more things in this bag. I got another little kids piece and I'll probably just put that with the other ones and do them all together. This is going to go into craft, a little stretch bracelet. And this is just a really cute little long, oh, it's all twisted. There we go. Long chain necklace in really good condition still. All the gold looks really good on it. And this is just gonna go into craft, um, just cause it's, it's really, the elastic in it is shot. This is really pretty. Um, it's just very dainty. It has like these gray color faux pearls and then these little grayish um, balls that have um, like a, a shimmer to them. Isn't that cute? Speaking of pearls, and I believe, I believe these are faux pearls. They feel, they feel on the smoother side, but they have a really nice, um, that kind of, that kind of clasp that just slides right into the other pearl. Let me see if it's marked. If it is, it's really tiny. No, I'm not seeing any markings. Not on that part, at least. Let me look on the other part. No, no markings that I can see. But definitely um, a vintage piece. It does have a little bit of verdigris right there. But um, that could very easily be cleaned off with some ketchup. I had a piece recently that had quite a bit on it, but it was a nice old vintage piece. And uh, yep, ketchup took it right off. Works wonders. Just let it sit in there in, the, in a little bit of ketchup on the actual part that's green, and then give it a little scrub with a old toothbrush or something, and it comes right off. That's pretty. Um, two, two strands joined together as one. And there's nothing on the little medallions. Just a fun little necklace. Nice. Oh, it's cold. Look at how cold it is. Look, do you see my arm? How the goosebumps? Oh my gosh. And I have my heater on. It's freezing. Freezing. This is tangled up. Um, I'll untangle them. They're nothing special. They're just two little necklaces. Here's another um, fashion piece with some fun colors. Everything looks good on that. Maybe a little, little discoloration back here. Just a little bit, not a lot. I'm very, very fine. Oh, this is fun. This is tangled, but they're both fun little pieces. Oh, come on. All right, I'll work on untangling, but the first one the first one is this black velvet cloth, two strands on each side, and then it has this beaded piece with the hanging gold chains. And 
This one is somehow, there we go, I see it. It's grabbing onto the chain. That little faux pearl there. See, when I do this, I'm always afraid I'm gonna break something. And it wouldn't be a video without Charlotte making her presence known. All right, well, I'll work on that. And then look at that, that's so pretty. This is just plastic, but it's got some beautiful rhinestones around it. And then that's just on a gold chain, adjustable gold chain with a few little pearl baubles up at the top. So I will work on getting those unhooked. Hopefully they come unhooked nicely. Here's just another um, double strand fashion necklace. So this really, this one I got at auction, this whole thing and the earrings and everything and some other pieces I'm going to show you. I got it for 20 some dollars, like $26, I believe, plus shipping. So not bad at all. I think it had some really cute stuff in it. These are fun colors. Um, why did I keep this one? You know how I loathe load 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 these all right this is going to be in craft because it's got a little yeah and i hate them i hate them because i hate are fighting with them this is um cute very cute necklace um probably a, a little vintage too i'm guessing it's probably from around maybe the 80s or 90s um, and, and the feel of the plastic makes me feel like that as well. But just a cute little fashion necklace. This little guy, it's a mother and child. I think, I think that might be sterling too. Oh, it does have a mark. I think it is. Yeah, it's marked 925 on the inside. Mother and child pendant. Very cute. This is a Roman. I did look to see. Um, and I turned off my tester, but I'm pretty sure those are just, I'll turn it back on, but I'm pretty sure those are just glass. But isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty. It would make a nice gift too. For somebody that loved like the blue, blue sapphires. So I'm gonna leave it there for a second. There's that rogue earring, that's just the other one. And then I had some other earrings in here that don't really match. I don't know what's going on with those. So I'll put them with the, the other earrings. Um, one, two last things. This one's going into craft, but it still has some really nice beads on it. But the stretch is definitely questionable. And then this one I'm not going to put into craft because it actually has really good elastic to it. And it's got some really cool beads. Um, they're almost like ceramic beads. Can you see that? Very nice. And that's it. That's all that was in that bag. So let me test this just to make, whoops, that's a pen, Brandy. Just to make sure um, these aren't anything of super value. Which, no, they're just, they're testing it. They're just rhinestones. They're testing it glass. But still, really nice Roman, Roman brand necklace. And there's what it says on the back. I'm pretty sure it said Roman. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Very pretty. Okay, well, I will get to the rest of the earrings and the other pieces that I pulled out another day um, since this video did go a little long and um, yeah I'll leave you with a kind of a view of what we have to come if you see anything in there that you're interested in let me know and I will oh, look I still have the fish on isn't he adorable and, and I will see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching stay safe stay beautiful and have a happy holiday season